You remember that video I made to juvenile delinquents a couple, maybe a month ago, and I was saying that you're gonna come to some crossroads, you're gonna come to a place where you plateau and you're like, what do I do next? Well, this whole year for me has been a complete shit show. Like it's been off the hook. It's been 25, 30 things all unexpectedly happening that put me into a mental, spiritual, emotional, and financial position that I can't get out of unless I make some choices better than the ones I made this year, you hear? So with that being said, I'm going back over the road, traveling the country, getting paid real good money for it. Got a real nice, I think it's like a 2022 Cascadia uh, Freightliner Cascadia, but not the Evolution, the one where you pull up the bottom bunk and you got a dining room, that one. Um, I'm gonna be traveling to full 48, so I get to take my home time in DC, Mississippi, and Michigan, where all my family is. Life is good. When I thought it couldn't get any worse, it started getting a little better. But guess what I didn't do during the painful process of all the painful, traumatic stuff I went through this year? Guess what I didn't do? Several things. Number one, I didn't commit suicide. Number two, I didn't drink alcohol to numb the pain. I faced it head on. And number three, I didn't give up. I kept my faith. I trusted the process. Everything is working out. Not perfect, but everything is working out. Everything is Everything is everything. So with that being said, go look in that mirror, proclaim that you are a royal person and you cannot be stopped by anybody. Nobody can drain your energy but yourself. And in April, that's when I'm coming home for my first home time and I'm dropping a full album at this bomb ass studio in Detroit. Wait for this, Jonks. Stay real, stay dangerous to be safe. Respect, bless up, bless up.